All right, what's going on guys, it's Jeff. And finally, here is the 10K Q&A. Now you guys might notice that my girlfriend is not here. Um, I actually mentioned on Twitter that we won't be doing it together. Uh, a lot of people were like, oh, you guys broke up? No, we, we didn't break up, not, nothing like that. Uh, we just can't really get around to it. There hasn't been that many questions for me and her. So it would just kind of be pointless. I would feel like she would just kind of be sitting there and me just answering questions about myself. <laughs> so don't blame me that my hot girlfriend isn't in the video. Blame you guys for not asking questions involving her. <laughs> That's why we're not doing it mainly. But I do a shit ton of questions for myself and uh, yeah, here we go. Do your neighbors hear you when you rage? Um, actually, to be honest, I don't think any of my neighbors can hear me whatsoever. I mean, I, I, I don't live in a huge house or anything like that. Just a couple bedrooms, bathroom, whatever. Uh, and there's a decent amount of space between me and my neighbors. So I, no, I don't think they can hear me. If they do hear me, they haven't said anything to me. So, no, I don't know. Jeff, how old are you? I am 19 years old, I am almost turning 20. Do you go to college? No, I, I don't go to college at all. Uh, <laughs> I, as soon as I graduated high school, I wanted to be done with school, uh, to be honest with you guys. I, I hated school, I hated everything about it. I didn't flunk out or anything like that ever. Uh, I never even thought about dropping out or anything like that. But now that I've been working for about a year and a half now, uh, man, <laughs> college is looking really good. What do you do for a living? I live at home with my grandparents and I have a full-time job working at a factory that constructs and sends out uh, cages and racks for biomedical research for animals finding diseases and stuff like that. It sounds really cool, it's not that fucking cool, I actually hate my fucking job. Which is why I really want to go to college. Do you rage on purpose, or is it actually real? Now, this is a difficult question for me to answer because I don't want people to take it the wrong way. The way my process works in recording all of my videos is, I don't just jump on and then just begin screaming at a game. Many people that have been in parties with me know that I don't scream all the time like my videos are, but this is what I do. I actually play to the point of where I'm getting angry and then I hit the record button and then that's one of my videos. That is one of my videos. Every single game of Call of Duty I play, I don't bitch and cry and moan. There are some games where I actually do very well, there are some games where I do bad and I don't say a goddamn word. But for the sake of entertainment, I'm not going to post a video of me doing well and just sitting there in silence. It's just not fun for you guys and it's not fun for me to watch over. Why do you copy FaZe Gwit? <sighs> this in no way is any shots fired towards FaZe Gwit, but I have been doing rage videos for over two years. Two years, two fucking years, okay? I've been doing rage touches for two years. Now, I am not a pioneer of rage videos whatsoever, so before anybody goes and tries to bash anybody else for making rage videos, do not ever say that, oh, you're copying Jeff, oh, you're copying Gwit. It's not that, it's about entertainment. I didn't come up with it, Gwit didn't come up with it, and actually, the person that I got the whole Rage Taj idea off of is Like Butter. If you don't know who Like Butter is, he's actually a really, really cool guy. I, I've never talked to him in my life, but just from all the live streams that I've watched of him and all of his videos, he's just a really cool guy. And he originally gave me the idea for Rage Taj's because he did them before I did. If you guys don't know who Like Butter is, I'll just put his channel down in the description. If you do check out his videos and you do like them and you do comment on them, tell them that Jeb sent you. I would love to just help that guy out. I feel like he deserves more than he has. And, uh, yeah. Why don't you and FaZe Gwit do a dual rage face com? I'm all for collaborating with Gwit. The reason why me and FaZe Gwit haven't done a dual face com rage video, the reason we haven't collaborated in general is because I, I don't really have an answer for that. Um, I would love to collaborate with him. I don't know how he feels about me. I remember when I first started posting my vlogging videos about the shotguns and the LMGs and the Vonderhaar video and everything like that. He supported me 100%. Uh, he commented on almost all of my videos, liked all of them, followed me on Twitter even. And I noticed after a while, he unfollowed me on Twitter. He stopped watching my videos, he stopped liking my videos. Now, I didn't take offense to that. I'm, I'm just confused as to why. I mean, I guess people just stop watching videos in general, which is cool, but uh, I don't necessarily know the reason. Uh, I've tried to get in contact with him and he just, he just hasn't replied to me whatsoever. Um, I think a lot of it is due to the fact that there are actually people that go to his videos. Why are you copying Darth Jeff? Darth Jeff is better. Darth Jeff this, Darth Jeff that, Phase with this, Phase with that. Just stop it. The comparison between us, 
we really are just different people. We run different channels. Although our live comms are very similar, there are distinct differences between our videos. I play other videos besides Call of Duty. He's kind of stuck on Call of Duty just because of FaZe and all that other jazz that got him to where he is. Congratulations, by the way, Gwit, if you're seeing this. How many holes have you made out of Rage? Eh, a lot. <laughs> but that, that's... That's the only accurate number I know, just a lot. Why don't you reply to your fans when they message you? Um, I'm assuming this is from a guy that has tried to contact me before and I haven't replied to him. The honest fact is, there are so many messages that I get throughout the day. I'm glad, 100%, I'm so happy you guys are enjoying it, but I don't reply just simply because I have a lot of messages. I reply to some people, some people will tell you I have replied to them and they'll say that I'm a cool guy and blah, 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 blah. But just because I don't reply to you does not mean I don't care about you. There's just simply too many people to communicate with. If I spent all day replying to and inviting everybody and playing with everybody that invites me, I would get nothing done and there would be no videos up. Why don't you do daily uploads? I'm trying so hard trying to do daily uploads, guys. I bust my ass just to get every other day. But what a lot of people need to understand is I have a girlfriend of over two years. It's very serious. I love her to death. I have a full-time job. I really want to go to college. I want, I have bills. I have other things that I have to do. And uh, there are just other people that are able to post daily because they, they either do this as their job or they don't have a full-time job yet or anything like that. So it's easier for them to upload daily. Now, I'm not bitching. I'm not making excuses. It's just, it is what it is. If I were making enough money doing this YouTube thing, which I'm not, I would be able to turn this into my job and upload every single day because this is what I love doing. This is my dream. YouTube is my dream. I love doing everything i love everything about youtube including the dumb asses that leave just the dumbest fucking comments ever i love you i love you because you are just a part of this thing that is near and dear to my heart and i don't really mean to sound really gay about it but it is what it is it's my dream would you rather have vonderhaar's hair or vonderhaar's dick <laughs> what? Neither of them exist will you be playing scary game yeah i mean i'll play anything that you guys want me to um as long as it's entertaining for you guys and you guys have fun watching the videos, why can't I play something else, you know what I mean? I don't want to be stuck on one video game. If you restrict yourself to one game and or one type of game only, your audience will be a lot smaller than it should be. I feel like you should play every single game, you should have every single type of video out there just being you and you'll appeal to a broader audience, I believe. The biggest channels out there are just channels just filled with many different games. Hutch, Scene Editors, PewDiePie, all those guys, I love all their channels to death and I love all those guys as people. I just enjoy watching them play. I enjoy all of their videos. They give me good feelings and that's exactly what I want to give to you guys. And last, what is your name? Now a lot of people already know this, but my name is Jason. So uh, yeah, I think that's about all I have. So uh, yeah, there was actually a lot of questions asked over and over and over again, like a ridiculous amount of people asking the same question over and over again. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. If I get enough questions again, I'll do another Q&A like next week or some other time. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm bad with dates. I'm not going to promise anything. And also, I know this was meant for 10K, but I just recently hit 12K, which is just fucking phenomenal. You guys are the best. You guys are amazing. I consistently see the same people on my videos all the time, including new viewers on each and every single video. And I couldn't possibly express how much it means to me uh, that you all support me like this. So uh, thank you so much for 10K, now 12K. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been Jeb. Later.